Hello, SolarLoon here, and this is a tip video on using the uh, meta module and saving synths and modules out in Sunbox. Um, this is something that I have yet to cover, and I've wanted to cover custom made modules, uh, user created modules, for a little while now, but I haven't really gotten a chance to do it. And I thought that it'd be best if I went back and actually explained how to make your own modules and save them and, and use them and tweak them and stuff. So this is going to be a couple uh, different parts to this. The first part is going to be this part, which is basically saying explaining how we go ahead and make a synth out of, uh, or make a custom synth or make a custom module of our own. And then the other part is actually configuring that module. So there's two two parts of this. So so we'll we'll step through this one at a time. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of make a, a simple synth. So we have um, here an analog generator. We have an amplifier. We have the output. So what this is going to do is we're going to basically make our synth, save it into a Sunbox file, and then load it back into a meta module. Okay, so for ease of use, we're going to use a multi synth for this, and we're going to plug that in. We're going to name the multi synth in, and this is just, uh, hold on. There we go. This is just something I do uh, just so that uh, people, others, as well as myself, know which synth to use. Um, uh, we'll get to it in, in a second, but just you might want to name the synth that we're supposed to be playing into. So this is the synth input. When we play it, you know we have uh, the usual you know notes going up and down. Everything works. Okay. So let's go ahead and configure our synth to do something you know, special. You know, kind of have a, a different sound just for the sake of the example. That's fine. Okay, so this is our little synth. It's very simple. Input goes to a couple of modules, uh, synth modules, output um, outputs to an amplifier, and then goes to the output. So this is going to be our synth. So let's save this. Let's save this synth. Uh, we'll name this example synth, and this will be a Sunbox file. Good. Now what we're going to do is make a new song, um, just so that we have a nice base to work with. I don't want to confuse anybody. So now we're going to make a new module, and this is going to be the meta module. You could also use the load function for this, but we're going to make a new meta module, and then we're going to load the song in. Right here. There we go. So we loaded our example song, or our, rather, our synth sunbox file. We loaded it into the meta module module. <laughs> now that it's in there, when we play a note, it'll pass through the internal module chain and then go to the chain's output or that song's output which will go from this module here you know forward into the next uh, module that we set up so we're just going to pass into an amplifier into an amp output and you obviously can see it's not working right now that's because the input module is set to one we want to increase it and select the module that we want to use so by default it's on the first module of the song we want to put it to the input module. That's why we named it that way, so that I can see when my, when I'm selecting which module uh, here, I can s tell which module it's supposed to be. All right, so it's working. We play, you know, the notes here. It goes into basically the Sunbox song in a sense, and goes through the module chain, plays the synths, you know, through the multi synth, through the two synths, into the output, and then uh, into the amplifier, and then into the output, which goes from there into the amp amplifier here, and then to the output. So that's good. Now there's another part to this. What are these parts? Um, well, those are parameters that we can define per module, per meta module. So um, we'll get to that in a few seconds. Before that, we have uh, some basic set settings here. First is the volume, so that's you know obviously the vo obviously the volume of the module. The second is the input module, which is what we use to select which uh, module we're playing notes into. The third uh, parameter here is the play song, uh, I guess you could say slider or or switch. Um, basically, the meta module is loading in the, the Sunbox file that we just you know selected, so you can have it actually play an entire Sunbox song by setting the play song value on and then giving it an input an, or rather an, an, a, um, a pulse playing a note so that way you can select a, a input module that isn't existing have the uh, play song um, play song switch on and then hit it hit a note and it'll go ahead and play the song 
So you can use it kind of either to play songs and you know stuff like that, or you can use it as we're using it here to make a, a, a module of our own. So go ahead and make sure that that's that input module set. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> go ahead and make sure that that input module set. Uh, and we have the BPM and TPL settings for the song uh, to be played if we're using the play song option, which we're not. So that's that's it for those uh, parameters. Now we have the user defined parameters, and those are interesting because basically you can use these parameters to set up uh, from the outside, and 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 to allow us to tweak from the outside our our internal modules um, parameters. So for example, we have those two cents, right? we can set up so that one of these parameters goes into one of those synths volume. So we'll uh, select this little box here that says user defined. We'll name this uh, synth one volume. Press enter to rename the parameter. You see it changes there. And we want we want to link it to analog generator, this uh, first analog generator's volume. And we do the same thing. I didn't need, <laughs> I didn't need to close it. We do the same thing for the second one. And we'll name it as well, synth2 volume. Cool. Now uh, we have more or less controls, but we don't really need that many controls. We can just go with one, or rather two. And that's it. Just lay some notes down here. that's pretty simple right pretty simple pretty easy to go ahead and make your own little uh, module you can have as many controllers not as many as you need but you can have quite a few 13 so far um, I th I feel like it that that limit might have risen um, I think I might be using an older ver version of Sunbox and I keep forgetting to actually update my version of Sunbox but uh, at least if it's 13 that's quite a lot I think it might be higher but I, I'm not sure um, if it's higher, then it would be a, a more up-to-date version of Sunbox than the one I'm using now, which is from J uh, January 23rd. So anyway, <laughs> for this version of Sunbox, you can have up to 13 uh, user-created parameters. Now, the last thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is save this, because if you notice, if we load in the uh, same synth again, all of our parameters are reset. If we um, create a meta, meta module and load that in, you know, through the load song option, again, parameters are reset because we're loading the song, the source Sunbox file, when we want to save what we have here, our controllers, the names, everything here. So what we're going to do is name this meta module. We'll name this example synth solar line, so we know who made it and what the name of the synth is. We'll give it a color if we feel like it. You know, set it up as you really want it to, or want it to be set up. And then you go ahead and right click and save the module out. then we can go ahead and load the module. And so you see the two options here. We have the example synth.sunbox file and the example.sunbox uh, sun synth file. So this is a synth, a sun synth, which is basically a compressed, or a, not really compressed, a saved um, module. All the parameters, all the settings, all of that saved. So all of this stuff, plus the parameters, gets saved to a sun synth file. And if you load it in, we have the name, we have the settings, everything here. Uh, we see the total size of the Sunbox file it came from. We see the input module here. We see the name of the Sunbox file. So it'll probably be net good to name the Sunbox file as well before you uh, save it. So for example, we have the song properties here. It, it, in the Sunbox file for the synth, it would be named, you know, example synth dash solar wound. Then we save it. Then we make the, uh, you know, load it into the meta module, set up the settings and the controllers, and then save the Sun synth so that when we load it in, it's here, you know, the name or the other you know, information you might want to put in within a limit. It's not too much information that can go there, but a, a certain amount of information is there. Um, and then you have the name of the synth and stuff like that named uh, set here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so that's the basics about basically making your own custom modules in Sunbox. You use the modules that you have here, you save it to a Sunbox file, you load it into a meta module, you set up the controllers, and then you save that out to a sun synth file. It's not too complex. It's pretty simple. 
So after a while, you'll get used to using it, and you'll be able to play up with other people's sun, uh, sun synths, sunbox synths, or synths, or sunbox effects, and things like that. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun. All right, well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Moon, and hopefully you'll have fun making your own custom modules in Sunbox. Bye.